All right, guys, today is the day of the show. Um, so first things first, I need to get everything ready and put it in the van. All right, so I'm just picking out my saddle pads now, which I'm actually very excited about because obviously I'm gonna be wearing nice white ones, which look very like professional and fancy. Um, so I think for show jumping, I'm going to wear this one, which is my Lumia saddle pad, which obviously has never been worn before. That's why it's still in the plastic and hopefully the plastic will keep it clean. Um, so we've got that. And then for dressage, I'm gonna be wearing my Voltaire design one, which I actually wore at the Pony Mag photo shoot. So it, it, it's a little dirty on the inside, but it looks fine on the outside. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna grab my boots as well. I'm gonna be having my Palisade ones. These are my newest and fanciest ones because you know what? First show, wanna look fancy, you know? Um, but yeah, I'll put these in the van and it's time to grab the other stuff. Those can go there. And I think these I'm gonna hang up so they're not gonna get dirty. There we go. Lovely. All right, so now I have my dressage saddle already. I have my jumping saddle. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach. It's so high up. Oh no, I don't wanna drop it. Wait, I'm gonna put my girth down. I actually cannot reach. All right, so I have Joey's ear bonnet. We're gonna go for navy to match my show jacket. Um, we have got brown gloves for show jumping. White gloves for dressage, they are a little dirty, but um, that's fine. Um, we have my helmet. I'm gonna go for my like navy one today, because again, matches my show jacket kit, and I thought like that'd be really nice for dressage. Um, I have my bridle, and then I also have my breastplate as well for show jumping, so just hang everything up. Okay, so the tack is in the van and I'm now here with Joey because it's time to plat him. So it's currently nine and my first, um, my dressage is at 1.18, very specific time. Uh, so the plan is to plat him now, maybe let him out on the field again, because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to plat because I haven't last, I've only done a dressage competition once and that was in 2016. So that was like what? five years ago so uh do not judge my plaiting skills what will be will be again we're just going out for some fun so um you know if we look a little little dodgy with the plaits you know what we're just gonna rock them we're gonna go out there and have some fun so uh hopefully i think i might have to let him out because i don't want i don't want to like be too slow with the plaits but then i don't also want to like be last minute plaiting and get him, get him in too late so i think i'm gonna plat him and just fingers crossed that he doesn't roll out in the field because again he's been out in the field today because i want him to have as much being a horse time as possible but yeah let's see what i can do with your mane mister okay we all walk with an outer glow Living on our insides, casting shadows The world's spinning around again We all know, but we all pretend Oh, blimey, the sun has really come out now, but I'm going to be trying some of this um, Supreme Products Easy Plat that was very kindly gifted because um, hopefully this will make plaiting easier for me because it makes the plaits a little bit more sort of like grippy to hold on to. Does that say spray? Yes, it does. So bright. There we go. You're okay, Joey. There we go. <laughs> Joey's moving so much because he's eating. I thought it would be easier if he was eating because then he wouldn't be as distracted, but... <laughs> If you could eat in the same place, that would be very helpful. Okay, so I've done one plat. I probably could have done it a little bit further down and maybe like flip that over when I tied it up. But hopefully they won't look too much like golf balls when I roll them up and put them like so. But Joey does not have the easiest mane to plat. Uh, hopefully by the end of the summer, I will be a lot better at plaiting and his mane will be a lot easier to plat because as you can see, it's just a wild mess of frizz. But I have thinned it out, but it's still, it's like, thick at the top but thin at the bottom so it's really difficult but um i'll see as much as i can do also he has a lovely poo patch here i'm gonna wash that off after i platted him because i don't want him to be like standing here being all cold and wet and uncomfortable so we'll do the platting first and see how it goes <laughs> you said your name was billy joe but you didn't know how to play the piano your feet soft on the beaten road but you kept to the so not long left 
left till we're done. Although I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Cause that is just, what even is that Joey? He's been scratching off his mane. Probably because he's been like putting his head underneath the fence. Yes, to get the long grass. Yes. I feel like once they're, they're rolled up though, they won't look too bad. No? Yeah. As long as they don't look like golf balls, I'm happy. Alright guys, there you go. You can laugh at my plaits. I mean, they could be worse, but not that much worse, you know? Um, Joey does have quite a difficult mane to plait. As you can see, he's got lots of little baby hairs that just stick up. Um, you know, I've tried my best. They will do. Obviously, I still need to like roll them up and things, and they'll probably look better once they're rolled up. But, but um, I've tried my best. Also, it looks even more weird because Joey's got his like little white hairs coming through. Um, and I didn't, I washed his mane not that long ago and I didn't want to wash it before the show because obviously if you wash it, it takes out all the natural oils and then it's just a little bit more difficult to plait. So I was like, you know what, I won't wash it, but it's a little, little dusty in there, but nobody, nobody will know from far away. It's all good, you know? His forelock, I've tried my best on, but we will be wearing an ear bonnet hopefully. So uh, nobody, nobody will see that. It'll be fine. He, he won't look like a unicorn with a massive plait just sticking out. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I don't know if I want to roll them up now or roll them up later. I might roll them up now and if they fall out, I can just redo them just so then they're done and I don't have to worry about that or stress about that. So that's what I can do now. And then we can really take a good look at them and be like, yeah, you could have done better as we. <laughs> trying to get rid of the little stain on Joey. Luckily, with the colour he is, just a bit of water really washes it away. Also getting rid of any dandruff that um, he has. There we go. <laughs> Nobody needs to know about that. He's looking pretty good, guys. You scrub up not too badly, Joey. No, pretty boy. Very handsome. Yeah. Just double check he doesn't have any other pooey bits on him. All right, so feel free to laugh. I'm laughing on the outside, but on the inside I'm crying because uh, they could look a little better. I am a bit of a perfectionist, so, you know, um, when I was at Pony Club, all of my friends, their like mums were horsey and would plait for them. I don't have horsey parents, so I always had to uh, plait Mickey and Casper myself and they always ended up looking a bit dodgy. You'd think by now I would have had enough practice, but um, no. It's been, I mean, it has been five years since I last properly plaited, so uh, give me, give me a, a, bit, a bit of an excuse. But no, he's actually looking very smart. He looks better from the other side because you can't see the plaits, but his mane looks neat because it's all on one side. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. What maybe one day I'll be able to do really neat plaits with like a needle and thread and all that jazz. But uh, because I'm more of a show jumper, I'm, I'm going to take what I've got. And this is what we've got for today. So after that, it was time to give Joey a little bit of time, it turned out in the field and then get him back a little while later. He has rolled, but luckily he had his uh, old rug on. I didn't want to use his new fancy high equestrian rug because I knew that he was going to roll and we still need to get some photos in it. So uh, he does have his old manky one on, but it has, it has kept him somewhat clean. After a quick tidy up, it was time to load Joey into the van and head on our way to the show. 
Alright guys, we're now at the show. I'm just letting Joey have a bit of haylage on the ramp um, while we wait because we got here a little bit early but I'm not mad about that because I kind of, it's really good for him just to be here in a show environment with lots of new horses around him. Just getting him nice and settled so hopefully we have a nice and relaxed dressage test. You listening Joey? Okay, that's what we want. <laughs> good man. <laughs> When your heart is full, nothing at all, and your body runs, you forgot what for your eyes reflect light from the fire that is gone, and your feet are the only things that drag you along. When you're low on love, it's too hot from it, and the words they said were the stones and sticks burning. Guys, I am so happy with Joey. <laughs> it's been very noisy today, calling out to all his new friends. Um, but no, he was so good in the dressage. He could have been maybe like a little bit more relaxed, but for his first dress dressage, he did everything when I asked him to. He was really responsive. So yeah, super happy. Time to get ready for show jumping. It's future Esme here. I thought I'd do a little chatty bit now because obviously at the show I wasn't able to talk too much because it was a bit of a rush in between uh, dressage and show jumping because I had to untack Joey, put on his jumping kit. Um, anyway, I now have my dressage test results. So I thought I'd do a little bit about that. So I was very happy with Joey. We got all sixes and above. So we got a few sixes and a half, seven. So overall our results result was 63% which I was very happy with including we got two marks taken off because um, we weren't wearing a number obviously very new to compete with competing I say new I used to compete all the time when I was younger but it's it's been a while so um, I didn't really know what it was like competing with COVID I went and asked someone if I needed to wear a number they didn't I think we got our wires crossed a little bit but I'm I don't care about that at all I was just happy to be out having some fun with my horse um, but no very happy the comments from the judges were super athletic horse showing correct training so you know that's good and um, once more established in work he shows promise to do well so obviously you know Joe is a young horse he's got a long way to go we both have a long way to go together but that's really lovely that's really nice overall I was really happy with him being a young horse never been in that particular indoor arena before he just went in straight away I was just very happy with him. So much so that we had so much fun doing our dressage that um, I've actually booked a dressage show for, as I'm filming this, next week. So 
that's very exciting. So then after that, we had the show jumping. So uh, went in the arena, warmed him up. And because it was because of COVID, um, it's they do a thing in the UK where it's called arrive, compete and leave. So it's all very quick. You have to be there on time. If not, you're not going to go. So um, I was a bit confused when the show jumping um, course walk would be so I didn't actually walk the course for show jumping uh, so the show jumping was a little bit rushed I feel like I could have maybe warmed him up a little bit better but overall you know I was happy we went in the arena we jumped our course it was a little bit green Joey did feel like a completely different horse to ride in the show jumping when I've taken him out there previously for um, training or when I jump him at home or at my instructors he's very forward he will take me to all the jumps but it was a, as if suddenly something just clicked in his brain like the first fence I probably could have ridden him a little bit better too but he spooked at the first one there was a plank on the ground it was in the spooky corner he didn't like it but I kicked him on we went forward so we ended up trotting over the first jump because he had a bit of a spook so we had the first one down um, as you guys know when I film my videos at home cameraman is in the arena nice and close you can get really good footage at a show a little bit different you know we didn't get the best footage for show jumping unfortunately so we didn't get that much footage like some bits were out of focus some bits because it was raining as well we had a few technical difficulties but um some of the jumps he jumped he felt great i think i did let him go a little bit long because he was like nervous just like he was just a little bit more lucky really i felt like i should have had him a bit more collected had my leg on a little bit more but not let him rush forward i felt like he rushed a bit forward so he knocked a few jumps sorry if you can hear mickey they're currently in because it's a very hot sunny day today and obviously mickey is very really sensitive to the sun but um, no, so because Joey is a young horse, like I talked with my instructor about how the course went and things, and she thinks part of it was due to my nerves and part of it was because Joey is young, and I know people being like, oh, he's seven now, he's old, but he is a little bit of a late developer. So he should have a little bit more muscle. His top line still needs building up a little bit more. So I don't, th I think doing a whole course with that many jumps, I think he found it difficult to hold himself and he kind of ran forward a little bit. So that's just something we need to work on. You know, he's a young horse, we're gonna get there eventually, but we did have a few jumps down, but I'm not too worried about that because the first one is because he spooked and we went over in trot and he kind of cat bleat over. The other one was actually part of a double and I think I, because I didn't walk the course, I didn't really know what the striding was. So it's kind of like, okay, let's just see how it goes. And he got the second part of that down. I think he just didn't quite pick his legs up. Um, but other than that, you know, for a first show with a young horse, very, very happy. So we just need to get out there a little bit more with our show jumping because we kind of had a break from show jumping over the winter. We've been focusing a lot on our flat work, so that's probably why our dressage was a little bit better than the show jumping. But overall, I am so happy with Joey. Honestly, he was such a superstar. He did everything I asked, no silliness. He could have gone out there and had an absolute, like, baby tantrum like he had has done a few times over the winter so that's why I was a little bit nervous but no he was so good and I honestly cannot wait to get back out there for our dressage competition coming up next week but anyway I'm gonna stop talking now take it back to past Esme showing you her excitement of how well Joey did at the show and also probably looking a little bit like a drowned rat because it did rain quite a bit that day All right, guys, I am now back home. I'm a little bit wet. The rain did decide to suddenly come down as soon as we got back, but I'm so glad that it didn't really heavily rain while we were out there competing, but I'm just so happy with Joey. I'm not gonna lie. I know I kept saying, oh, I'm not nervous, I'm, I'm excited, but that's what I kept telling myself because not, I was, like the night before, so nervous. I haven't been in the show ring doing an actual competition that wasn't like a clear round at a local place since 2016 that was when i last regularly competed with casper with the pony club so it has been like five years and i was so nervous because obviously i haven't competed since i've done youtube i was like what well, people watch me like yeah it was a lot 
but overall I'm so happy with Joey like in the dressage I was like okay I'm prepared for him in like canter to explode or going down the center line to just like explode or like have a baby moment but he did everything I asked of him he was a, of course he was a little bit green a little bit tense but he soon settled down and I'm just so happy with him onwards and upwards from here guys and also like I'm just so excited to get back out, back out there again but for a baby horse for his first time in the show ring with me and everything he just did everything I said he was on his best behavior again with the show jumping some of the jumps that he did felt incredible um, obviously it could have been a little bit less messy but I'm very critical of myself so um, but no he felt great the more and more jumps we did in the show jumping the more confident he felt it just felt like everything slowly just got better and better and we both felt more comfortable and not so nervous if that makes sense but yeah overall so happy can't wait to get back out there again so anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video and following joey and i's journey first show very excited to do more uh, if you're new or haven't done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all next time bye